my top 10 muscle jar monsters updated edition. Gammoth, a member of the Faded Four, a monster's equivalent to the Woolly Mammoth. Though she is my least favorite of the Faded Four, she's still in my top 10 and a pretty awesome monster. Mizutsune, another member of the Faded Four. The slickest of the group because of his slippery bubbles. Though low on the t list, he's still one of my favorite fights. Cole of Taroth. She's actually one of the most interesting fights in my opinion, and because of her, her siege-styled fight. The further you are into the siege, the more, more powerful she becomes, but at the cost of her, her parts being easier to break. She's also on the list because of a friend of mine named Kai, who calls her his waifu, which I find absolutely hilarious. Glavinus, leader of the Fated Four, and basically a Tyrannosaur-bodied, a Bellasaur-headed, Dinosaurian with a bladed tail that superheats and can be sharpened with its mouth. One of the best fights, in my opinion, because of how much more challenging it is. Astalos. Though not the leader of the Fated Four, I personally prefer this guy over their leader due to the fact that he's just much more psychopathic and aggressive in terms of the fight. Especially since he's an electrical pterosaur with bug-like features. And he's, to be honest, more fun and more of a challenge to me at least. Namiel. One of the most recent additions in the series and took the spot of my previous favorite Elder Dragon due to the fact that it just seems more like a fun fight. Especially with the water and electric moves it uses and its AoE attack. Zenogre, one of the four who stayed on the list from the previous one. This guy actually helped me learn some things from like three ultimate and four ultimate battles with him. Or her, I don't know for sure. Yeah, the guy is actually pretty powerful. Brachidios, another one of the four who stayed on the list from the previous one. Brachidios moved up a spot for the same reason Zenogre moved up a spot. And also because, back in 3 Ultimate, this guy was one of my biggest challenges in high rank. Because that game was the first time I actually got to high rank. Gormagala, another or one of the four who stayed on the list from the previous one. Gormagala actually stayed in the same spot due to the fact that nothing's really changed about my experience with Gormagala. But I did remember that I actually really liked this guy. I am waiting for the build up from uh, 4 Ultimate. It was actually really, really fun. You guys probably predicted Laggy Acris would stay as number one, but uh, yeah, Laggy Acris is number one still. Ill and will for now oh, still remain number one. Mainly because of the amount of times this guy beat me up and to the point where after I finally beat the guy, he made every other monster pretty easy for me.